we're here at the Hammerspace soldering bench right now. And what we're going to do, currently the wiring actually that we did yesterday on the T60 side of this plug is correct. But the wiring that came from the hoverboard factory on the jack for the charge input is incorrect. It's actually using red as negative and black as positive which is one of those things that just sort of makes you want to scream. Conventions exist for a reason, and they really should be respected. But I guess when you're manufacturing hoverboards during the height of a hoverboard craze, no one's got time for that. So we are just going to swap these two leads around, and while we're at it, I'm going to add that diode into the circuit there. Um, you know, Having seen that diode there now on the original hoverboard, I understand why it's there. That also likely would have prevented us from having fried that first charger. But, yeah, you live and you learn. So, let's see if I can get this off of here. There we go. There's the red wire. And there is the black wire. Now, we will add our little bits of heat shrink on here because the only thing more frustrating than finding something that has been wired against convention is forgetting to put the heat shrink on before you solder it. Really difficult to get that heat shrink on after the fact. Okay. We've got our two bits of heat shrink on there now. Okay. Now, I just want to grab the charger and I want to verify we're connecting to the right spots. So, looking at this, we've got pin number one, number two, and number three. Pin number one should be positive, pin number two should be negative, and pin number three is not populated. So going back to our jack here, so pin number one should be positive. So we will solder that onto there. And these are actually labeled on the back. You can look, there's very small little letters there, which pin is which. Let me grab some helping hands. We have a member here at Hammerspace who likes to um, disassemble the helping hands and form them into one giant helping hand sculpture, which is uh, somewhat less than helpful for everyone else who uses the soldering lab. But, you know, that's what you get when you have a, uh, a membership shop full of interesting people. All right, let's see if we can get that on there now. Okay, that's the positive side. And then we will do the negative side. There we go. All right. Now let's just verify one more time. So pin two, according to this, should be negative. Pin one should be positive. Let's see, we are checking correctly. Pin one is positive, pin two is negative. Pin one is positive, pin two is negative. Okay, so now we've got that soldered on there. So I will close that up with some heat shrink to keep everything looking neat and hide my sinful solder joints there. have our rewired charger lead here. Um, I thought about putting the diode in this side and I actually did solder it in at one point, but that's changing too many things at once. We want to try to change incrementally one thing at a time as we work on this. So I cut this back out and we'll proceed without it for now. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to check the charge state of one of these batteries. So we kind of have a baseline before we start working with it. Um, this is just a little clip-on battery meter. You can get these on Amazon. Uh, it can be set for all different configurations. This one's set for these 10 cell packs. So you can see right now that this battery is at about 56%. Um, so there's room to charge it and this will be a good test. So we'll remember that number 56 or 55 now. It's kind of adjusting. Carefully take that back off of there. Now before we connect a charger up to our battery pack. We do suspect this charger is dead, but let's verify that before we chuck it. Because like, you know, like we said yesterday, we're trying to do this project with as minimum expenditure of money as possible. So we'll connect those two leads there. I'm going to plug the charger right in. And 
we're going to bring in a meter and see what we get off of this connector. So we'll go negative to negative, positive to positive, and we're seeing 42.1 volts. So this charger might still be good. Let's try it and see what happens. But we are correctly seeing the polarity we expect on this T60 connector now. All right, so let's set that meter aside. We're gonna unplug the charger. We're gonna plug in our battery at its 50 or 55, 56%. Uh, and we're gonna put that battery, battery number two, into our charge safe pouch. Seal that up. And now we're ready to proceed. So we're gonna plug this charger in. So we're getting a red light now. We're getting the fan whirring. So yesterday we were only seeing, it would only charge for about 10 seconds. So we're already significantly past that. We've still got the red light on, the fan's still going. So it's still charging. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna leave this for about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, then we'll come back and we'll see if the charge state of the battery has changed at all. And that should give us a pretty good indication as to whether or not we have success. It's been about 20 minutes. The charger is still running. We've still got the red light here. Um, Nothing's currently on fire, so that's nice. So let's unplug it and use the, the battery meter here to see where we are in terms of state of charge. Battery is slightly warm, which happens when you charge them. Not warm enough to be worrying though. So let's start with, look how far negative side, look how far positive side. Okay, so now we're showing a 72% state of charge. So I'm gonna call this a qualified success, which means for the, the future of this project going forward, we can use these batteries, and we know that we can charge them without having to resort to hooking them up to the original hoverboard motherboard. So now I've got two of these batteries going forward that we're gonna use in the one wheel project, and we know that we can just create a very simple circuit to allow us to plug our future one wheel in and charge it directly from one of these hoverboard chargers. All good news. Only took us two days to figure it out.